Baal was a title and honorific meaning lord in the Northwest Semitic languages spoken in the Levant during antiquity. From its use among people, it came to be applied to gods. The epithet Hamon is obscure. Most often, it is connected with the Semitic Haman, which roughly translates to brazier. Braziers are a source of light and heat. Therefore, Baal, Lord, and Hamon, Brazier, could mean Lord of Light or even a sun god. Baal was associated with the bull in Ugarithic texts, as it symbolized both strength and fertility. Other than the bull, Baal was also associated with the ram and depicted with his horns. In other accounts, a bearded old man with curling ram's horns. He was worshipped as Baal Karnaim, Lord of the Two Horns, particularly at an open-air sanctuary at Jebel Bu Karnaim, Two-Horned Hill. Baal, in surviving inscriptions, was a popular deity throughout the Eastern Mediterranean. He is usually mentioned along with other gods, his mastery being rarely defined. Though, Ugarithic records show him as a weather god, with mastery over lightning, wind, rain, and fertility. The dry summers were explained as Baal's time in the underworld, and his return in autumn was said to cause the storms which revived the land. Baal was regarded by the Canaanites and the Phoenicians as the patron of sailors and seagoing merchants. Baal Hamun was worshipped in the Phoenician colony of Carthage as their supreme god. Carthage, through successful sea trade expeditions, grew to become a regional power. Through times of war, Baal is called upon, for he was thought to intervene actively in the world of man. The legendary sacred band of Carthage were believed to be dedicated to Baal Hamon. Surviving accounts depict the followers of Baal Hamon to have practiced child sacrifices. Some modern scholars argue that evidence of the Carthaginian child sacrifice is sketchy at best, and the reports are most likely a Roman fabrication against the Carthaginians to justify their conquest and destruction. Excavations in a Tunisian site called the Coffin of Carthage yielded evidence that child sacrifice was indeed practiced there.